Well, today we're gonna take this beautiful little beaver community and help them survive. And to do that, first things first, they need to gather lumber. So we place a flag down like this and make sure they have a path over to it. And then do the same thing to these berries over here. A lovely little flag right there. And we'll give them a path to this one as well. They might not need it, but I'm sure they appreciate it. So let's get the little guy working at cutting down all these trees so that we can help expand their community to the fullest it can be. And if you're wondering, I am playing with the Iron Teeth faction because they have a lot of new stuff in update four for timber born which the developers have asked me to cover so big thanks to them for sponsoring this video and one of the new things is this map here it's called craters and it is looking amazing the potential that is here like i really just want to fill this basin right here but first things first we need to get a lot of things set up here because they have a lot of needs such as water so we'll give them a water pump down over here straight across from the town hall that should be good we'll start with one for now and then just build a path right to it and then right next to it, we might as well place a water barrel so they'll take care of that we also need food so let's get a farmhouse going right over here that could be good and then the field across from them sure and one of the changes that does come with the update is the iron teeth food system is like entirely different they have a lot of crops now we're gonna start with something simple colt robbie i have no idea what this is but i'm sure they'll appreciate it we can just designate this whole area as crops i think just to make sure that they have a lot of food and it looks like there is like a natural ramp here so we can designate these trees to be cut down and they should cover that as well and and the first night is here, and they really don't have anywhere to sleep. We just have 12 homeless oh. beavers. That's uh, not a good thing. We'll set up a house right over here so that they have it eventually. I think they need to get the basic needs in first. So we'll set that to lower priority. And then once the morning comes around, they should be ready to start building things. As long as they're putting all the supplies in one place. Ooh, construction is going on the water pump. Now you just need a few more materials. And here they come, marching down the path. Just place that in. And then we get to building it. And voila! Okay, so that covers their water problem. We'll set the workplace priority to maximum because this is a basic need. And why is there just a box of berries right here? Are they full on berries? Oh, it looks like they are. Well, we can make some use out of them with a couple of these breeding pods here because that's how the iron teeth do, I guess. I really want them to get this farmhouse going, so we'll set that to the maximum priority, even though they're already working on building this uh, water barrel here. And, you know, maybe it's a good idea to get another gathering flag over here to cover these trees, just so that they have more to work with. Because let's be honest, this is a very small grove of trees here. And I'll also build a small warehouse next to the foraging place so that they can store all their berries properly. And before I forget, I should also put in a science building so they can learn new things. We'll set that to medium to good priority. And this workplace priority is going to get maximized. So while they're working on that, let's look ahead here and try to plan some of this out. I do want to build a dam somewhere so we can start to flood this crater here. I'm not sure the best place to do that though. We could flood this up over here, but the water level is really low. So that would take a bit of effort. And the water leaves the map down here. And then it goes, ooh, what is this? Underground ruins? Oh, that's got to be cool to work with later. It's also really creepy the way it looks now. It's like a Sarlacc pit. I could also break these down here and flood the water over this direction so it starts to fertilize some of this ground over here. It wouldn't get any farther than this, but I think the best thing is going to be getting to these other resources that the map starts with, like these berry bushes over here. And right now, it looks like our average wellness is zero because they still have no shelter. We really should work on that sometime. First things first, though, they need food. They can't eat berries all day. There's a farmhouse built and people are already working. Excellent. And they're planting whatever kohlrabis are. Tastes like paper, crunches like driftwood. Ugh. And also the water pump is full on water. So we should probably finish building this small tank. And since we're set together a lot of wood, even though we're using it all, I want to put in an industrial pile somewhere so we can just store all of the wood. Maybe somewhere central? I'm not sure that's a good idea. I want to use more with this space. I know we can build on top of buildings, but we're not there yet because we don't even have stairs. But now the entire field is planted and they should be getting good food in another day or two. There we go. The water tank is built. You're going to hold water. And now we have a science building. So a little guy's going to get working in there, getting all the smarts for the rest of the beavers. And now we're going to make you build the barracks. Oh, you're building the breeding pods right now? You don't need children. You need sleep. So something else I'm looking forward to is this fermenter because you can take some produce and make a lot of food out of it. But for that to work, we are going to need power. So where's a good spot to set that up? I could set up a power wheel so a beaver works in there but we also have this river that we can use so if we set it up going through the middle of town i think that'd be okay problem is this fermenter only has the access point
points on one side. I think it could work if we put it right here next to the water tank. So it's next to a field. And then we just hook up a power system right to that. I want to set up this area to be the fermenting field. And I think the cassavas are the best place to start with that because it only takes five days to grow it and the least amount of time to ferment. So if I just keep you close like this and pass you like that, then this should be a good arrangement here. Hopefully they get these barracks done soon. They really need to sleep in order to bump this well-being. Very good. Those crops are going in. Cassava. Poisonous and raw prompted the iron teeth to experiment with fermentation. That'll be fun. I also love that there's just constantly this box of berries here for no reason. Ooh, look. The barracks are done and one of the first breeding pods. Look at the little guy in there. He's just waiting for his turn. Ooh, and they already started the breeding progress. We're gonna have more beavers here soon, which probably means we should set up another barracks. But hey, the average well-being went up. So now we have an average well-being of three. Ooh, and the plants are ripening over here. These kohlrabi things. Now they have plenty of food now. Excellent. I love this. Storehouse is done. So there's berries going there. Ooh, now that's where boxes should go. And the average well-being went up to four. We're doing amazing. Also, I just realized the way I have this set up, it's not in line with one of the access points. So sorry, beavers. We're going to delete this and hopefully they can gather that. But we're just going to shift this over one spot to the right. Oh, and I guess I moved the rubble too. And I accidentally deleted all that wood. We just won't talk about it. Okay, this grove of trees is like halfway gone already. And so is this one over here. They go through a lot of lumber, but I'm sure they'll get that sorted out in the morning. And one of the things we definitely need is this forester so they can plant trees. But we need a lumber mill for that. So I'm thinking we get this going here and then we can change out this part of the power uh, thingy. And then we get it lined up like this. Really hope we have enough wood for this. I think we should. All right, so they got the fermenter all set up and taken care of. Although I really can't do anything without power. So we'll pause this until they get the rest of this done. Thankfully, these don't take all that much lumber. And as much as I want to focus all the water diversion over here, I really think I need to break this open so we can start to fertilize more of the ground over here. Thankfully, the little beaver is going to work on that already. Or I thought so. I guess he was going to work on the other one before I canceled it. Ooh, but the water wheel's in place. I like this. And now they can build the rest of the network. And the good news is we have enough science for the forester. So I'll unlock that really quick. And that actually slots in here really nicely. So once we have planks from the sawmill, we can get going on that. We'll set this to low priority for now. And it is turning beautifully. Putting out, oh wow, 104 horsepower. That's enough for both of these buildings. Okay, I guess this one has to go because it's the one that's close enough for the builders. So he's just going to clear all of that out of the way. And then the water starts starts to flow and all this gets fertilized now. Ooh, that's satisfying. These trees are already dead, but that doesn't matter. They can still make use out of them. And thankfully, it doesn't seem to have interrupted the flow of this too much. Okay, I guess it has a little bit. Not terrible though. What we can do is set up a dam right here so that we retain at least most of the flow this way, especially since we now don't have enough power to fuel the buildings. Might have been a little early on that. Ooh, but the sawmill's built up. Very cool. So they just got to work on this power network now. And the last one goes in and there we have power. It's not full power. Oh, and I forgot to put up a path right there. Whoopsies. Uh-oh. We have a beaver with broken teeth. That's not good. We need to fix that. I think there was something. Yeah, teeth grindstone right here. Kind of crazy that they would have a center just for this, but it's a nice spot right here for it. Oh, and it's the lumberjack that's got the broken teeth. That makes sense. Thankfully, he's still able to work, though. Ooh, and check it out. These things are blooming. Very good. We'll be able to harvest those soon. And now we're starting to get some planks, which immediately go towards building the forester. That's fine with me. And look at that. He's working on grinding his teeth. Oh, that's amazing. But now what we can do is have an area specifically made for planting bushes right through here and then set up these areas for planting trees. This is a really good lumber range right through here. So we can pretty much use this whole area, right? Yeah, like that. Maybe cancel this row just so we have some separation from the plant fields. Ooh, but now they're bringing in supplies to the fermenter. Just need a little bit more. Oh, and check it out. This dam is almost complete. We're gonna have our power back soon. There we go. He's working on it and it's complete. It still lets some water through, which is fine. Or actually, is it? Oh, no, it completely cut it off. I'm okay with that. We still have this whole range that we can plant with. Main thing now is to work on our own production. And now the fermenter is pumping. Yes, they're gonna have some good things here soon. And just like that, they have 10 fermented cassavas for them to eat, which should increase their wellness even more. And the good news is we have enough science for stairs. Not sure why stairs require so much science, but now we can build second stories for things. And wow, whole oh, wow, they go through that water quick. We definitely need the second barrel. Okay, good, we got it. Water into you. I also think what I'm gonna do is set up another farmhouse dedicated just to harvesting because they're starting to waste some of the kohlrabis here. I get the feeling this is gonna be a very rough time for them. All right, the drought has started. Oh, there goes the river. Oh, that hurts. But also looks stagnant right now. Oh, well, nope. <laughs> 
<laughs> there it goes. Uh-oh. Man, this place looks dangerously barren right now. Okay, well, we can pause the fermenter. There's no work being done there. Thankfully, some of these crops can still get harvested. What I can do, though, is build a power wheel. Oh, and I guess it can get access from anywhere. I thought these window things were the access points. Doesn't matter, though. Get that in right away. Actually... You know what? We don't need to because there's no things that are harvested. We just harvest the food that we have and hope it's enough. Thankfully, too, there's berries that can be collected. So they have food options. That's not really the concern here. It's mostly just the water. Oh, but the drought only lasts two days. So we should be stocked up enough to get through this. Don't really need to worry about this anymore then. And we're also going to need a second barracks somewhere because we're getting a lot more homeless beavers. So if we just did that on the back side... That could be okay. Or on the back side of the incubation tanks. Mm, they can't get through there. Right here could be fine enough. I'm not too worried about it. And it looks like our lumberjack is starting to go down into these trees here. And we do have some jobless beavers right now. So we can put them in the forestry now. Very good. And then one of you into here. Okay, now we have everybody employed. Now he just has to wait for the drought to be over so he can get power back. Thankfully, that's only a day and a half. I'm really glad I built up those extra water barrels. Two of them are already empty. And the third one's on the way. If it was just these two, they would be pretty stuck. Ooh, good. Our little beavers have grown up overnight it's fine though there's only one day left for the drought and they still have the berries that they can go through oh speaking of i realized a while ago that the forester can't quite reach the berries so we might need another one over here well not might we definitely need one over here and that covers that range of trees over there that'll be good uh why can't i place this down oh there's a bush here i need you to go away our entire kohlrabi field has dried out oh boy that's okay only half a day left for the drought there should be enough berries and we'll just have barely enough water oh but now our Savas are drying out. These guys take forever to grow. Oh, and I just noticed that a beaver died of old age. Well, that's better than other things. The drought ended. Good. Water, come on back to me. There it is. It's flowing. Yes. Oh, another beaver has died of old age. The old guard is going away, but now we have water again. So things should be all good in the world. And yes, we have water production again. Oh, down to the end of our resources. We almost ran out of berries. Wow. And you know what? Forget putting it right here where I was going to. This spot works just as good, and it gets a little more range that way. Surprisingly, quite a bit. So that's a really simple fix right there. And now our little beaver friend is replanting the trees. Good. So they have a healthy supply of lumber now. I also kind of wonder about the best tree for planting. The pines do sap up, which would be beneficial for them because they can do things with the sap. And it definitely seems like it gives the most return for everything that they do. Ooh, we could give them coffee. I think they would like that very much. And our second string of barracks has been completed, so all the beavers have a place to stay for the night. Well, well-being is a little lacking, mostly because they don't have any new food. At least not yet, anyway. Oh, they're also entirely out of food. Uh, that's a problem. Thankfully, though, they get some berries. So as long as they are okay for a few days until these kohlrabis blossom again, they should pull through. And to that end, we can also pause these breeding pods so that they don't go putting the berries in there. Oh, man, more beavers are hungry. Um, these kohlrabis better blossom soon. Oh, this is not a good sight to see. Every beaver is hungry. And the kohlrabis are only halfway completed. This is not good. So many beavers are starving. At least some of them get food so they can hold on a little bit longer. I really just want to see if they get these kohlrabis going again. And this food factory would be really good to get in the future too because it rations all those supplies into, well, rations. Oh man, the hunger is severely dropping. Okay, but some of these are like three quarters of the way grown. Ooh, now this forestry is done. So this guy can get to planting berries. That'll be good for them. More of the babies have grown up. Oh, look at all those food icons. This is gonna be rough but these kohlrabi should be good in the morning so hopefully but these kohlrabi should be good in the morning you beavers just gotta hold on a little bit longer and some of them are getting severely hungry oh boy 90 percent on some of these at least some of them will survive because of the occasional berry 97 percent on the kohlrabi come on i've also set the farmhouse to only go into harvesting mode oh yes they're blossoming or they're ripening wow whatever produce do oh good they can eat now we need all hands on deck to harvest this oh Okay, but now beavers are going in. They're getting food. Granted, they're eating all the food, but at least they're eating. And slowly, the hunger icons go away. I'm also going to set this second farmhouse to harvesting as, as if they weren't doing that already. Oh, wow. That wellness dropped to minus seven. What in the world? I didn't think the hunger got that bad, but it's coming back up pretty quickly. And they don't need to eat if they sleep, so nighttime is good for them. Okay, another death, but this one is of old age. 
I just want to make sure that the wellness gets to be positive again. Ooh, good. The cassavas are blossoming too. So they can get a lot more food because of that. Oh, the wellness is zero. And then it just drops back down again. Oh, good. The wellness is at one. So if it follows this trend, then they should get back up to where they were before. That was very close. But I love this little community we built. Some small beginnings, we learned some things. But I'm really looking forward to the potential this map has. So I think I'll end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed the little escapades of our beavers. There's some very fun stuff in this update. And so make sure you guys check it out if you want to get in on the action again thank you to the developers for sponsoring this video and thank you very much for watching sub to intern and i'd like to thank the channel members including bread mr cripple one ancient elixir one corby farm dakota c donamoto devion x muffin stuffer lucas s lab splatter sacks the real nickname edward and hateful herald